Uh, I gotta cut this plate away. There's uh, some weld on hangers that go here to catch these joists because it's a sloped little bit for the entryway still. So I'll lay that out, pull those hangers off. This is kind of weird. Let's see if I can capture a view of it. This house has a 30 degree bend in it. So the end of the house down there is tapered at a third, angled at a 30 degree angle. Um, for some reason, the engineer has the joists running parallel with that angle. And the only thing I can figure out is it makes the shear go across here at three quarters when we put the, or at uh, 30 degrees when we put the plywood on there. So I'm guessing he wants the, the shear perpendicular or yeah, it'd be perpendicular square to that, that grid line axis there, which is what it'll be. So we'll be kind of decking across the joist square, but it'll look like it's crooked on this area. So I have to lay these out. It's 19.2 inch center. So it's five, per eight foot sheet versus six with 16 on center or four with 24 on center. Uh, I can lay out the front and the back. I already have my grid line on there. And then I'll probably snap a line through about every four of them or so, just so that I can keep a nice straight uh, layout line through there for deck and everything. So I'll show you how I get that because it's not just 19.2 down this beam now it's at a 30 degree angle so I have a calculation and I use Siri to help me with that I'll show you all right the, the difference the uh, I guess the multiplier for 30 degrees is 1.154 inches or 1.154 times whatever number you want so if I want 19.2 inches this way this this length will be 1.154 times longer so let me get my phone somewhere that i can i can hear it and maybe you can hear it at the start let me turn it up here hey siri what's 19.2 times 1.154 it's 22.1568 so we're gonna round that up to 22 Point one five seven. Hey Siri, what's twenty two point one five seven plus twenty two point one five seven? The answer is forty four point three one four. 
plus 22.157. Plus 22.157. Plus 22.157. Plus 22.157. Plus 22.157. Plus twenty two point one five seven. 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 Plus twenty two point one five seven.
Okay, what we get done today? Uh, we've got a few joists in here. These ones I ordered, but they didn't show up. Uh, they're micro lambs. We're swapping the joists out for micro lambs because we got to rip down a little bit of slope for porch, and it's just easier to do it uh, in a solid member. There, these actually weld to that beam there, so I'll install those at the same time that I uh, I got some torsion restraints to weld in on the heavier connections. So I'll do that, you know, maybe tomorrow. I got that corner bolted in. It was the only one that wasn't bolted up. Everything else is tightened. Now that one's installed and tightened. Um, there was a little bow in that beam that I couldn't suck together when the crane had tension on it. So I clamped it together and got it to, got it to bolt up. It's pretty nice. These joists, all those hangers are on. Man, those are things that are heavy. Um, that's like, I don't know, 70 of them or something. But it's quitting time, so we'll be back tomorrow. And we may we may set up and cut all these and leave the gaps out where I gotta do my welding or I may just weld. I don't know, we'll see what the weather's like. See you tomorrow.
Okay, that's lunchtime. Those are all in. I've got this little piece right here. I'm gonna wait till I get a chunk out of another joist. No sense cutting something before I need to. I got decking coming tomorrow. And we'll probably go set that stairway stuff after lunch. I'll bring some wood up from around the corner and see if we can get some of those beams in.
Just shove it all the way back.
Okay, quick little shot here. Uh, let's see. The decking's going to run perpendicular to these joists, so it comes across these at kind of a funny angle. And I'm looking for a good way to change directions. And this would be a logical spot to do it right over that garage header, but I think I'd rather have it tie in over here to something solid, which is this um, heavier steel beam with full width plate. So I'm going to do that. That little bit of funny business there I don't like I put it in there to maintain layout but I think what I'm going to do since I'm not using these joists so much for layout because I'm going to block all these seams I'll just shift that over and lay another one right alongside there it'll look better okay uh, I'm going to start blocking this okay this might make a little more sense now I've blocked that on the same joist centers as those that's just a walk board uh, so it'll catch all this stuff coming across. We'll still nail to these joists because that's where the bearing is, but we'll also nail everything to these so all the edges will be blocked um, as it goes, and it'll allow all of that to tie in a shear axis over to here, which is another, I think it's a W14 by 61. Okay, that's that.
I wasn't even really going to set that. I forgot to taper it, but we can do that next. All right, I'm cutting the block off of each one of these joists because I need four blocks later today um, out here. I got a couple of like shear block, hold down, torsion restraints that I got to block in. I'll film all that when I get to it, um, but the blocks are here, so I'll just cut it while I'm doing it. up again.
So anyway, that's that. Right, I just need one joist out of that stack to make up this wall line jog over here.
you gotta put these torsion restraints in here. I'd really rather be decking this thing, but it's not raining and it's a good day and all this has to happen before I cover it up. Anyway, I wanted to show you uh, the steel all bolted up super nice. It's much flush through there. Um, I put the shear tab in here and what these torsion restraints are, are this piece of flat bar. I'm going to have to angle this one uh, or this end because i got to put a three inch weld here. I'm also going to have to dip that down for that. Um, and then there's one that welds on up there as well. So I'll bring the grinder up. I don't know how much I'll be able to film as I'm doing this. I might just film progress shots, but um, each one of these torsion restraints gets three inches of weld at each end of it. So there's one upper, one lower. And then down here, since that's all bolted to the concrete, it just needs an upper. And then, so it's six of those total. All right. Okay, I was able to go bend a little offset in that on my vise. Back of the tank. Look at the thing and not the camera. Anyway, I think that'll work. I can get that three inches there. I might have to fatten it out a little bit there, and then we need three inches somewhere in here. Uh, should be no problem. And then there's less of an offset up top. Uh, the bottom's super flush, and just flange width difference is taken up right here. So I think that one's going to be okay. I'll just clamp it in and weld it at the same time. sun in the trees. That's fantastic. I should be better at shooting b-roll. That is just a good look. It's raining. It's raining behind over there. It's a great color. I don't know if this will capture it or not. Little scrubby big leaf maples. They need more fur in here. Of another week got kind of the golden hour sunlight going on here just heading home just hoping to get a little further 
this week it's the week of Christmas. Christmas was, I guess it was Monday. Um, next up's New Year's, so we'll be back Tuesday. What did we get done? All this is ready to deck. We're gonna do this Tuesday morning. This is ready, inch and an eighth. Uh, inch and an eighth. I don't know if that's 29 mil or 30 mil or something like that. Tongue and groove. Uh, got all this done out here. Brought the cart back. And we'll put uh, these blocks in with the hold downs that tie those into these joists and then tie into the shear with the rest of it. So we'll do that detail. All this out here gets blocked every edge, even though it's tongue and groove. So we may put those in or just put them in as we go. But other than that, we're, we're ready to deck. So Tuesday morning, we'll rip this thing up. Okay. I'll lock you down the outside here. Show you all the access I don't have. I suppose I can back up and look at this. Next week, we're gonna be getting over into that. Looks pretty good.